until Beardless Part. We review all things craft beer on this channel, so if you're new, consider subscribing. And ring the bell. All right, guys, what have we got today? Well, we are finishing up, I guess, sadly. Freaky our... Friday. Yes, Freaky Friday. And it seemed appropriate to have a beer called The End of Everything, even though it's just the end of Freaky Friday. Or is it? But this is an Imperial Oatmeal Pastry Stout from our dear friends at Detroit Garage Project. We don't know anyone there. How are they our friends? Because they make beer. Of oh, course okay. they everyone are who makes beer. beer is our friend. So good Except if you're PBR. So this beer comes in at 10%, no IBUs listed. It cost $4.69 per can. And at Siciliano's in Grand Rapids. Does not appear to be a date on here. Who cares? It's a stout. We bought it in April, so it's old. The pastry stout makes me nervous. But it's been, it, I think it's been refrigerated most of the time that we've had it. It smells okay. It smells okay. You're smelling it before we've looked at it? What kind of heathen are you? Well, I get a nice pour out of it. We'll see if Lizzie screws it up again. Um, with a nice mocha, creamy, like... Buttercream type head on it. Buttercream? Butter I mean, it's a pastry stout. It's it's a tight head. It's tight. It's obviously very dark brown, almost black. I think it's a beautiful. Bit. I don't. I you're you were agreeing getting, with me. Oh my goodness. You were just like rambling this while I was still really trying. This is really the end of times, people. In the shits. It's pretty rich smelling, and I'm not I'm not surprised being ten percent. I smell coconut of all things. I get a little bit of vanilla. I don't yeah. know about coconut. I'd say vanilla, a little chocolate, kind of roasty, but I don't know what it is. I smell coconut. It's high. To the end of everything. To the end. Prost. Prost. Mm. Mm. What? It's a little sour. I don't know. Like peppery. It's got like that vegetal vibe going on here. We waited too long. Yep. We waited too long for the end of everything. We've had a bad luck with a, a, a string of bad luck with beers from Grand Rapids. We had one explode, and now we yep. have one that's vegetal, skunked, skunked basically. Yeah, it tastes I like don't... green peppers. Unfortunately, I bet this was quite a delicious beer. I don't know how this in happened. It's prime. I don't know how this happened. Okay. Again, I don't know how this happened. <laughs> Denial is the first step. A lot of people on YouTube who do beer reviews, right? But I've never really seen all that many who actually continue to publish their video when they have a bad beer. It's all about, I get the best beer ever. No, we're going to keep it real. We're going to keep it live, Bill O'Reilly. Okay, I have seen a few that say, oh, I got a bad one. But few and far between. I think hey. the people who get a bad one, they say, you know what? I'm just not going to put this one out there. If you get a beer and it says it's supposed to be a pastry stout, but it doesn't taste anything Please like a pastry stout, they... It's probably not good anymore. Yeah. Please, if you get a pastry stout, basically the lesson to take from this is drink it sooner rather than later. Mm -hmm. We done fucked up, AA Ron. I do get the oatmeal notes out of it, though. Yes. It is smooth. Like, you can tell that this was a good beer. The fact that we're drinking it and not enjoying it has nothing to do with what this beer was before it spoiled. Yeah. It's not, it's not a 0%. It's like, no. it's like 30% of its former glory. Funky? I'm gonna need mm. another beer to wash this one down, unfortunately. Finish is dry ish. Finish kind of dry, like, like for, for what we can say of what we think the beer should have been. Finish is kind of roasty. Roasty and dry. I think probably there was some coffee to this, but. That makes me think that's kind oh, of. Oh, it is. Uh, it was in collaboration with Glassworks Coffee, so there that's was coffee why. in here. That's so this why. is probably why it tastes bad. The coffee. The Let's, coffee is no good. You really got to be careful with the coffee beers. They have I don't think we realized that when we bought it, and that's why we sat on it for so long. Because literally it just says... Pastry. Pastry oatmeal, sour. Oatmeal pastry. So we didn't realize there was coffee in it. We probably should have mm. done our research a little bit better. But you know what? We're giving it to you live. But I think we should get into the end of rating. I don't know if we can give it a rating. Because obviously I, I feel like I can give it a rating. Which I'm going to say bronze. Because I feel like... If we had drank this in its prime, it would have been good. Right now, drinking it right now, it's a PBR ribbon. Yeah. Like, I see its potential, so I'm just going to give it a bronze. I don't think it's the brewer's fault. It's, like, no, mostly our it's fault. No, it's our fault. It's mostly it's our fault. our fault. It's potentially the distributor's fault or the beer seller's fault because we can't tell really when this was canned. I can't give it a, a... I can't even give it a bronze in good conscience as is uh, just because of the current state that it's in. So it has to get a PBR, but... 
That doesn't mean that I wouldn't try again. I think definitely would love to try this beer again. I Fresh. Think, I think we just got unlucky. Um, we did by waiting we, too long. We done fucked up. Yeah. Bye what bye. a way to go out on Freaky Friday. Since this beer isn't great, let's give you a little recap on Freaky Friday. All right, last week was I O. Oh, well, let's start John. at the beginning. So the first one was the Grim Psychokinesis, which was also old. There's a theme here. <laughs> Um, which I don't, I remember not enjoying. I don't remember. I liked it actually. I don't think, I didn't. I didn't love it, but I liked it. And then we did the, oh, Friday the 13th, which I also didn't enjoy. I think that turned out actually pretty good. You have to be a Rye fan. And then the IO, which I really liked. Jolly Pumpkin. I really liked. I thought that was very refreshing. I think that was probably the best one. All right, guys, that was our review of The End of Everything. Thank you if you've tuned in this month for Freaky Friday. Let us know down below if you like this kind of thing, doing like a Friday special. Uh, we've got some cool beers coming up for the holiday season. Do? Yes. For Lager and Reporter and Bottles Are on Draft, we're your favorite couple for all things beer. And freaky. All things freaky. Yes, really just you. All things freaky. Oh, yeah, that's just me. Yeah, beer. our our process for reviewing a beer is, okay, we may want to review it, and then it's like five minutes before we actually turn the camera on, and then we look up all the important information, and then we go with it. Like, we, we try to give the beer reviews very... Oh, no doubt about the beer, just everything slate. else. Yeah, blank slate. Like, we have no yeah. expectations going into no it. No expectations. Very rarely.